How do yeasts differ from other fungi? Yeasts remain unicellular that is, as single cells throughout their life. Most species reproduce by budding, others through binary fission or spore formation. Each bud that separates from its mother yeast cell can grow into a new yeast cell. Some yeast cells group together to form colonies. What are some of the best known deuteromycetes? Deuteromycetes are mostly free-living and terrestrial, but some are pathogenic. The best known pathogenic deuteromycetes include the causal agent, Aspergillus niger. Of a respiratory disease called aspergillosis, athlete's foot, epidermophit and floccosum. Ringworm, Microsporum canis, and Candida yeast infection, Candida albicans. Some other famous deuteromycetes are species of the genus Penicillium, particularly P. Notatum, for the role it played in the discovery of penicillin, p. Chrysogenum, for the commercial production of penicillin, p. Grisofulvum, for the production of grisofulvin. An effective antibiotic against ringworm and athlete's foot, and p. Roqueforti e and p. Camembertai which are used to make Roquefort and Camembert cheeses, respectively. Which mycotoxin is found in certain agricultural products and is believed to be carcinogenic to humans? The fungus Aspergillus flavus produces toxic aflatoxins. This mold is found in soil, decaying vegetation, grains, cereals, hay, corn, peanuts, sweet potatoes, rice, and animal feed. It is believed that products contaminated with aflatoxins are carcinogenic to humans. What is the difference between active dry yeast and compressed fresh yeast? Both active dry yeast and compressed fresh yeast are leavening agents. Active dry yeast comprises tiny, dehydrated granules of yeast. Although the granules are alive, the yeast cells are dormant due to their lack of moisture. Because the cells are dormant, dry yeast has a long shelf life. Active dry yeast becomes active when mixed with warm liquid. Compressed fresh yeast is moist and extremely perishable. It must be stored under refrigeration and used within one to two weeks. Why is the yeast Saccharomyces cerevisiae important in genetic research? Biologists have studied Saccharomyces cerevisiae, a yeast used by bakers and brewers. For many decades because it offers valuable clues to aid in the understanding of how more advanced organisms work. 
For example, humans and yeast share a number of similarities in their genetic makeup. The DNA present in certain regions of yeast contain stretches of DNA subunits that are nearly identical to those in human DNA. These similarities indicate that humans and yeast both have similar genes that play a critical role in cell function. In 1996 an international consortium of scientists from the United States, Canada, Europe, and Japan completed the genome sequence, all 12,057,500 subunits contained in the nuclear DNA of S. cerevisiae. It is the first eukaryotic organism to be completely sequenced. With their rapid generation time, yeasts continue to be the organism of choice. To provide significant insights into the functioning of eukaryotic systems. Who is the father of mycology? Elias Fries, 1794 to 1878 is considered the father of mycology. Born in Sweden, he received a degree in philosophy from Lund University in 1814. His first important work on mycology. Observations Mycologicy, was published between 1815 and 1818. He devoted his career to the study of botany. Concentrating specifically on fungi and lichens. The life cycle of a mushroom. Where are fungi found? Fungi grow best in dark, moist habitats but they can be found wherever organic material is available. Moisture is necessary for their growth. And they can obtain water from the atmosphere as well as from the medium upon which they live. When the environment becomes very dry, fungi survive by going into a resting stage or by producing spores that are resistant to drying. The optimum pH for most species is 5.6, but some fungi can tolerate and grow in pH levels ranging from 2 to 9. Certain fungi can grow in concentrated salt solutions or sugar solutions such as jelly or jam, which cannot sustain bacterial growth. Fungi also thrive in a wide range of temperatures. Even refrigerated food may be susceptible to fungal invasion. How are different species of fungi classified? Fungi classification is based mainly on the type of reproductive spore a fungi produces. If the reproductive, sexual spores of a species have not been identified or examined, the fungi are placed in the phyla deuteromycota. The three phyla of fungi are ascomycota, basidiomycota, and zygomycota. Each phyla has unique reproductive spores, ascospores, basidiospores, and zygospores. A zygospore is a large spore enclosed in a thick wall. It is the result of the fusion of the nuclei of two cells that are morphologically similar to each other. 
An ascospore is the fusion of two cells that are either morphologically similar or dissimilar. Ascospores are produced in a sac-like structure called an ascus. Members of the phyla Ascomycota are known as sac fungi. Basidiospores are formed on a base pedestal called a basidium. Members of the phyla Basidiomycota are known as club fungi due to the shape of the pedestal. The phylum Chytridiomycota has at times been classified in the kingdom fungi and at other times in the kingdom protista. Recent evidence obtained from comparisons of protein and nucleic acid sequences has suggested they belong in the kingdom fungi. What fungus is associated with chemical warfare? Fusarium, a genus that is included in the group considered imperfect fungi, produces trichothesins, which are highly toxic substances that have been tested as agents of chemical warfare. Trichothesins are very hardy compounds that can survive autoclaving and do not degrade when exposed to light. They are relatively easy to produce and have been prepared as biological weapons. The toxin causes the chronic disease alimentary toxicolochia, ATA. Our malaria mushrooms have been shown to reduce hypertension. What organisms are included in the kingdom fungi? Members of the kingdom fungi range from single cellulid yeasts to Armillaria ostoi, a species that covers 2,200 acres, 890 hectares. Also included are mushrooms that are commonly consumed, the black mold that forms on stale bread. The mildew that grows on damp shower curtains, rusts, smuts. Puff balls, toadstools, shelf fungi and the death cap mushroom, Ammonita phalloides. Of the bewildering variety of organisms that live on the planet Earth. Perhaps the most unusual and peculiarly different from human beings are fungi. Fungi are able to rot timber, attack living plants, spoil food, and afflict humans with athlete's foot and even worse maladies. Fungi also decompose dead organisms, fallen leaves, and other organic materials. In addition, they produce antibiotics and other drugs, make bread rise, and ferment beer and wine. How did the increased level of radioactive dust, cesium-137, in lichens affect the food chain following the Chernobyl nuclear power station disaster? Lichens are a primary source of food for reindeer. Reindeer is commonly consumed by humans that live in regions of tundra. When the accumulated level of radioactive dust present in lichens became so high in the reindeer that fed off of them. The reindeer meat became unsuitable for human consumption. Hundreds of tons of reindeer carcasses were disposed of as toxic waste.
Are there other medicinal uses for fungi? Two species of fungi have been popular in China and Japan for their medicinal value lentinulaidodes. A species of shiitake, and ganodermalucidum, a reishi mushroom. Lentinin and elidodes mycelium extract, lem, are two extracts from L. Idodes that are being studied for their medicinal properties. Lentinin has been found to enhance the function of the immune system and slow tumor growth. Lem appears to improve liver function and may have potential as an antiviral agent. Asian herbalists consider reishi to be the fungus of choice for treating of a variety of illnesses. Since fungi lack the chlorophyll necessary to produce their own food, how do they obtain food? Fungi are saprobes that absorb nutrients from waste and dead organisms. Instead of taking food inside its body and then digesting it, as an animal would, a fungus digests food outside its body by secreting strong, hydrolytic enzymes onto the food. In this way, complex organic compounds are broken down into simpler. Compounds that a fungus can absorb through the cell wall and cell membrane. Why are species of the genus Neurospora important? Pink bread molds of the genus Neurospora have long served as powerful laboratory models used to study genetics, biochemistry, and molecular biology. Scientists first demonstrated the concept that one gene produces a corresponding protein by studying Neurospora. Its ease of growth and the extensive genetic information available for this organism make it a convenient model for the study of many processes found in higher plants and animals. Among the fungi, it is second only to yeast as a basic model organism. How are antibiotics produced today? Until the mid-1950s all antibiotics were products of microorganisms. In the late 1950s researchers succeeded in synthesizing the nucleus of Penicillium notatum. This achievement allowed for various new groups to be attached to the synthesized nucleus, which paved the way for new forms of penicillin to be created. Synthesized antibiotics use natural molecules and add side chains that create a drug more effective than penicillin. Why are fungi disappearing? Gourmets with a taste for the subtle flavors of fresh. Wild mushrooms are discovering that those delicacies are increasingly hard to find. In Europe, just a few years ago. It was easy to pick a basket of one of the most prized fungi, the apricot chanterelle. 
however, not only are these mushrooms becoming scarce. The ones that do grow wildly do not grow to the same size they once did. In 1975 it took 50 times more chanterelles to make up 2.2 pounds. 1 kilogram, than it did in 1958. Other fungi are also becoming rare. For example, the average number of fungal species per 120 square yards, 1000 square meters. In the Netherlands has dropped from 37 to 12. One reason for this decline has been an increase in air pollution. Fungi are more sensitive to air pollution than plants because fungi have no protective covering. Whereas the aerial parts of plants are protected by cuticles and bark. In addition, while plants extract water from soil using their roots. Some fungi absorb water directly from the atmosphere, along with the pollution that may be present in the air. Poor air quality contributes to the decline of fungi. Which children's author studied and drew illustrations of fungi? Beatrix Potter, 1866-1943, perhaps best known for having written the tale of Peter Rabbit. In 1902, began drawing and painting fungi in 1888. She eventually completed a collection of almost 300 detailed watercolors. Which are now in the Armit Library in Ambleside, England. In 1897 she prepared a scientific paper on the germination of Agaricinii spores for a meeting of the Linnean Society of London. Although her findings were originally rejected, experts now consider her ideas correct. What is the role of yeast in beer production? Beer is made by fermenting water, malt, sugar, hops, yeast, species Saccharomyces spp. Salt and citric acid. Each ingredient has a specific role in the creation of beer. Malt is produced from a grain usually barley that has sprouted, been dried in a kill, and ground into a powder. Malt gives beer its characteristic body and flavor. Hops is made from the fruit that grows on the herb Humulus lupulus, a member of the mulberry family. The fruit is picked when ripe and is then dried. This ingredient gives beer a slightly bitter flavor. Yeast is used for the fermentation process. Making beer is a complex process. One method begins by mixing and mashing malted barley with a cooked cereal grain such as corn. This mixture, called wort, is filtered before hops is added to it. The wort is then heated until it is completely soluble. The hops is removed, and after the mixture has cooled, yeast is added. The beer ferments for 8 to 11 days at temperatures that range between 50 degrees and 70 degrees Fahrenheit, 10 degrees and 21 degrees Celsius. The beer is then stored and kept at a state that is close to freezing. During the next few months the liquid takes on its final character before carbon dioxide is added for effervescence. 
The beer is then refrigerated, filtered, and pasteurized in preparation for bottling or canning. What colored pigments are produced by lichens? Lichens are often strikingly colored because of pigments that play a role in protecting the photosynthetic partner from the destructive action of the sun's rays. These pigments can be extracted from lichens and used as natural dyes. The traditional method of manufacturing Scotland's famous tweeds makes use of fungal dyes. Synthetic dyes are now commonly used. Orchil, used to dye woolens, is a pigment produced specifically by lichens. The lichen Rosella tinctoria is used to produce litmus, a widely used acid base indicator. How were fungi involved in World War I? During World War I the Germans needed glycerol to make nitroglycerin. Which is used in the production of explosives such as dynamite. Before the war, the Germans had imported their glycerol. But the British naval blockade during the war prevented such imports. The German scientist Karl Neuberg, 1877 to 1956, knew that trace levels of glycerol are produced when Saccharomyces cerevisiae is used during the alcoholic fermentation of sugar. He sought and developed a modified fermentation process in which the Yeast would produce significant quantities of glycerol and less ethanol. The production of glycerol was improved by adding 3.5% sodium sulfite at a pH of 7.0 to the fermentation process. Which blocked one chemical reaction in the metabolic pathway. Neuberg's procedure was implemented with the conversion of German beer breweries to glycerol plants. The plants produced 1,000 tons of glycerol per month. After the war ended, the production of glycerol was not in demand, so it was suspended. What is the relationship between fungi and ants? The leaf-cutting ants, found in Central and South America as well as in the southern United States, have a mutually beneficial, or symbiotic, relationship with certain fungi of the genus Septobacidium. The ants are not able to digest the cellulose found in leaves. The fungus breaks down the cellulose a food source for the fungus and converts it into carbohydrates and proteins. Which the ants can digest. The ants then eat the fungus. The ants provide the fungus with a guaranteed food supply and eliminate competing. Fungi. The ants and fungus are not known to occur independently from each other. Which lichens are most often used by the perfume and cosmetic industries? The musk-like fragrance and fixative properties of Avernia prunus tree and 
Pseudovernia furfurnacea make them popular components for perfumes and cosmetics. The essential oils of these lichens are extracted with solvents. E. prunistry and P. Furfurnacea are common to southern France, Morocco, and the Serbo-Croatian peninsula. What is the ecological role of lichens? Lichens account for approximately 8% of the vegetation covering Earth's surface. In certain environments, such as regions of tundra, they cover vast areas of land. Lichens delay global warming by consuming significant amounts of carbon dioxide. CO2, during photosynthesis. When they cover the ground, they prevent soil from drying out. In desert areas they are able to capture and conserve the moisture present in fog and dew. Lichens release nutrients, such as nitrogen and phosphorus, which are important in regions with nutrient-poor soils as the nutrients aid tree growth. Lichens are also an important food source for many species of animals, including wild turkeys and reindeer of the Arctic tundra. Birds such as the olive-headed weaver of Madagascar and the goldfinch of Europe use lichens to build their nests. What are other examples of lichens assessing pollution? Lichens are used to assess radioactive pollution levels in the vicinity of uranium mines. Environments where nuclear-powered satellites have crashed. Former nuclear bomb testing sites, and power stations that have incurred accidents. Following the Chernobyl nuclear power station disaster in 1986, Arctic lichens as far away as Lapland were tested and showed levels of radioactive dust that were as much as 165 times higher than had been previously recorded. Which organism is known as the humongous fungus? The humongous fungus is an enormous, underground fungus that grows in northern Michigan. The fungus, Armillaria gallica, was discovered in 1992. It encompasses 35 acres, 15 hectares, and is thought to be at least 1,500 years old. Scientists proved that the organism was a single fungus by taking 20 samples of the fungus and performing DNA analyses on 16 fragments from each sample. The genetic material of each sample was identical. How do fungi cause trees to become hollow? Trees with hollow interiors are a familiar sight in parks, forests, and throughout urban areas. Fungal decay is often the cause of the hollowing of the trees. Wood decaying fungi can enter a tree following a wound to the tree. 
the tree will produce a band of cells that tries to resist the formation of decay directly around the wound. The fungus that has entered the tree through the wood will continue to decay the inner lichens. Like the yellow lichen shown here, are often used as natural dyes and in the perfume and cosmetic industries. Wood while the wood protected by the band of cells will continue to be sound. Hollow trees are also formed by fungi that solely attack the heartwood of a tree, this is most commonly observed in older. Coniferous trees of the Pacific coast of North America, reaching from California to Alaska. Heart rot fungi can enter a tree either through a wound or through small branch stubs. It decays the inner wood, resulting in a weak tree that is susceptible to damage by strong winds. How do fungi cause trees to become hollow? Trees with hollow interiors are a familiar sight in parks, forests, and throughout urban areas. Fungal decay is often the cause of the hollowing of the trees. Wood decaying fungi can enter a tree following a wound to the tree. The tree will produce a band of cells that tries to resist the formation of decay directly around the wound. The fungus that has entered the tree through the wood will continue to decay the inner lichens. Like the yellow lichen shown here, are often used as natural dyes and in the perfume and cosmetic industries. Wood while the wood protected by the band of cells will continue to be sound. Hollow trees are also formed by fungi that solely attack the heartwood of a tree, this is most commonly observed in older coniferous trees of the Pacific coast of North America, reaching from California to Alaska. Heart rot fungi can enter a tree either through a wound or through small branch stubs. It decays the inner wood, resulting in a weak tree that is susceptible to damage by strong winds. Do different fungi rot different parts of trees? Most fungi that rot wood in standing trees are basidiomycetes. The group that includes mushrooms, fleshy shelves, and rigid brackets. Most wood rotters attack only one or two related species of trees. Conifers and deciduous trees are more prone to fungi damage. Many wood rot fungi damage only specific parts of a tree. For example, Ganodermalucidum and Heterobasidian anosum specifically. Rot roots and are rarely found in higher sections of trees. Cyrena unicolor and Climacodon septentrionale are common. In high sections of trees and are rarely found in the roots. Latiporus sulfurus and Fomatopsis pinicola are found in all sections of a tree except the smallest branches of their host. Do different fungi rot different parts of trees? Most fungi that rot wood in standing trees are basidiomycetes. The group that includes mushrooms, fleshy shelves, and rigid brackets. 
Most wood rotters attack only one or two related species of trees. Conifers and deciduous trees are more prone to fungi damage. Many wood rot fungi damage only specific parts of a tree. For example, Ganodermalucidum and Heterobasidian anno some specifically. Rot roots and are rarely found in higher sections of trees. Sirena unicolor and Climacodon septentrionale are common. In high sections of trees and are rarely found in the roots. Latiporus sulfurus and Fomatopsis pinicola are found in all sections of a tree except the smallest branches of their host. Which species of tree are highly resistant to fungal decay and which are highly susceptible? In general, black locust, walnut, white oak, cedar, and black cherry trees are highly resistant to fungal decay. Species that are highly susceptible to fungal decay include 156 aspen, willow, silver maple, and American beech trees. Which species of tree are highly resistant to fungal decay and which are highly susceptible? In general, black locust, walnut, white oak, cedar, and black cherry trees are highly resistant to fungal decay. Species that are highly susceptible to fungal decay include 156 aspen, willow, silver maple, and American beech trees. What are the ideal conditions for fungi to attack wood? Fungi tend to attack woods when temperatures range between 50 degrees and 90 degrees Fahrenheit, 10 degrees and 32 degrees Celsius. Wood needs to be moist for fungi to grow. The most serious decay occurs when the moisture content of the wood is approximately 30%. Wood with a moisture content of less than 20% will usually not decay and any infection will not progress. Wood that is too wet will not decay because the excess moisture does not allow fungi sufficient access to air, thus impeding their growth. What are the ideal conditions for fungi to attack wood? Fungi tend to attack woods when temperatures range between 50 degrees and 90 degrees Fahrenheit, 10 degrees and 32 degrees Celsius. Wood needs to be moist for fungi to grow. The most serious decay occurs when the moisture content of the wood is approximately 30%. Wood with a moisture content of less than 20% will usually not decay and any infection will not progress. Wood that is too wet will not decay because the excess moisture does not allow fungi sufficient access to air, thus impeding their growth.
Which woods are recommended for construction when the wood will be constantly exposed to moisture? Decay resistant woods such as redwood and cedar or wood treated with preservatives are recommended for use in construction when the wood will be exposed to moisture. The most effective and least toxic preservative is chromated copper arsenate, CCA. Lumber treated with CCA has a characteristic light green stain. Which woods are recommended for construction when the wood will be constantly exposed to moisture? Decay resistant woods such as redwood and cedar or wood treated with preservatives are recommended for use in construction when the wood will be exposed to moisture. The most effective and least toxic preservative is chromated copper arsenate, CCA. Lumber treated with CCA has a characteristic light green stain. What is dry rot? Dry rot is a misleading common name for this form of decay since one of the primary requirements for fungal decay is moisture. This form of decay is referred to as dry rot because it is found in wood that is not visibly moist or damp. The fungus Serpula lacrimans produces specialized mycelia that enable it to carry water and nutrients. From a location with the conditions necessary for decay to locations where these conditions are not met. Mycelia can carry water and nutrients up to 15 feet 4.5 meters, across materials such as stone and concrete. The environmental requirements for the fungus are humid air with a relative. Humidity greater than 95% and temperatures between 32 degrees and 82 degrees Fahrenheit, 0 degrees and 28 degrees Celsius. Serpula lacrimans is common in wooden buildings of Europe, Asia, Australia, and Japan. It is uncommon in North America, although a related fungus. Marulaporia incrassate causes similar damage that is not as extensive. What is dry rot? Dry rot is a misleading common name for this form of decay since one of the primary requirements for fungal decay is moisture. This form of decay is referred to as dry rot because it is found in wood that is not visibly moist or damp. The fungus Serpula lacrimans produces specialized mycelia that enable it to carry water and nutrients. From a location with the conditions necessary for decay to locations where these conditions are not met. Mycelia can carry water and nutrients up to 15 feet 4.5 meters, across materials such as stone and concrete. The environmental requirements for the fungus are humid air with a relative. Humidity greater than 95% and temperatures between 32 degrees and 82 degrees Fahrenheit, 0 degrees and 28 degrees Celsius. Serpula lacrimans is common in wooden buildings of Europe, Asia, Australia, and Japan. It is uncommon in North America, although a related fungus. 
Marulaporia incrassate, causes similar damage that is not as extensive. Have fungi been effective in biocontrol? Biocontrol is defined as the use of one living organism to kill or control another organism. Fungi that parasitize insects are a valuable weapon for biocontrol. The spores of a parasitic fungus are sprayed on pest insects. The fungus then attacks and controls its host. A fungus was identified as killing populations of silkworms in as early as 1834. The spores of the same fungus are now used as a mycoinsecticide a parasitic fungus used to kill insects to control Colorado potato beetles. The spores of other fungi are used to control spittle bugs. Leaf hoppers, citrus rust mites, and other insect pests. Have fungi been effective in biocontrol? Biocontrol is defined as the use of one living organism to kill or control another organism. Fungi that parasitize insects are a valuable weapon for biocontrol. The spores of a parasitic fungus are sprayed on pest insects. The fungus then attacks and controls its host. A fungus was identified as killing populations of silkworms in as early as 1834. The spores of the same fungus are now used as a Mycoinsecticide a parasitic fungus used to kill insects to control Colorado potato beetles. The spores of other fungi are used to control spittle bugs. Leaf hoppers, citrus rust mites, and other insect pests. Who is known as the founder of botany? The ancient Greek scientist Theophrastus, ca. 372 ca. 287 BCE, is known as the father of botany. His two works on botany on the history of plants and on the causes of plants, were so comprehensive that one. 800 years passed before any new significant botanical information that had not been covered by Theophrastus was discovered. He integrated the practice of agriculture into botany and established theories regarding plant growth and the analysis of plant structure. He related plants to their natural environment and identified, classified, and described 550 different plants. Who is known as the founder of botany? The ancient Greek scientist Theophrastus, ca. 372 ca. 287 BCE, is known as the father of botany. His two works on botany, on the history of plants and on the causes of plants, were so comprehensive that one. 
800 years passed before any new significant botanical information that had not been covered by Theophrastus was discovered. He integrated the practice of agriculture into botany and established theories regarding plant growth and the analysis of plant structure. He related plants to their natural environment and identified classified, and described 550 different plants. What is Gray's Manual? Gray's Manual of Botany, first published in 1848 by Asa Gray, 1810 to 1888, under the title Manual of the Botany of Northern United States. Was the first accurate and modern guide to the plants of eastern North America. The publication contained keys and thorough descriptions of plants. The eighth, and centennial, edition was largely rewritten and expanded by Merritt Lyndon Fernald. 1873 to 1950, and published in 1950. This edition was corrected and updated by R.C. Rollins and reprinted in 1987 by Dioscorides Press. What is Gray's Manual? Gray's Manual of Botany, first published in 1848 by Asa Gray, 1810-1888, under the title Manual of the Botany of Northern United States. Was the first accurate and modern guide to the plants of eastern North America. The publication contained keys and thorough descriptions of plants. The eighth, and centennial, Edition was largely rewritten and expanded by Merritt Lyndon Fernald. 1873 to 1950, and published in 1950. This edition was corrected and updated by R.C. Rollins and reprinted in 1987 by Dioscorides Press. What contributions did John and William Bartram make to botany? John Bartram, 1699-1777, was the first American-born botanist. He and his son, William Bartram, 1739-1823, traveled throughout the American colonies observing the flora and fauna of the colonies. Although John Bartram never published his observations, he was considered the authority on American plants. In 1791 his son William 160 published his notes on American plants and animals as Bartram's travels. What contributions did John and William Bartram make to botany? John Bartram, 1699-1777, was the first American-born botanist. He and his son, William Bartram, 1739-1823, traveled throughout the American colonies observing the flora and fauna of the colonies. Although John Bartram never published his observations, he was considered the authority on American plants.
In 1791 his son William 160 published his notes on American plants and animals as Bartram's travels. How are plants identified based on their growth patterns? Herbaceous or non-woody plants die at the end of each growing season. Woody plants add a new layer of wood each year. How are plants identified based on their growth patterns? Herbaceous or non-woody plants die at the end of each growing season. Woody plants add a new layer of wood each year. What are the four major groups of plants? Plants are divided into phyla based on whether they are vascular. Containing vascular tissue consisting of cells joined into tubes that transport water and nutrients, or non-vascular. The phyla of vascular plants are then further divided into seedless plants and those that contain seeds. Plants with seeds are divided into flowering and non-flowering groups. Non-vascular plants have traditionally been called bryophytes. Because bryophytes lack a system for conducting water and nutrients. They are restricted in size and live in moist areas close to the ground. Examples of bryophytes are mosses, liverworts, and hornworts. Examples of seedless, vascular plants are ferns, horsetails, and club mosses. The conifers, which are cone-bearing, are seed-bearing, non-flowering vascular plants. The majority of plants are seed-bearing, flowering, vascular plants known as angiosperms. What are the four major groups of plants? Plants are divided into phyla based on whether they are vascular. Containing vascular tissue consisting of cells joined into tubes that transport water and nutrients, or non-vascular. The phyla of vascular plants are then further divided into seedless plants and those that contain seeds. Plants with seeds are divided into flowering and non-flowering groups. Nonvascular plants have traditionally been called bryophytes. Because bryophytes lack a system for conducting water and nutrients. They are restricted in size and live in moist areas close to the ground. Examples of bryophytes are mosses, liverworts, and hornworts. Examples of seedless, Vascular plants are ferns, horsetails, and club mosses. The conifers, which are cone-bearing, are seed-bearing, non-flowering vascular plants. The majority of plants are seed-bearing, flowering, vascular plants known as angiosperms. What main carbohydrate is stored by fungi?
The main carbohydrate stored by fungi is glycogen, which is also the main storage carbohydrate of animals. This fact suggests that fungi are more closely related to animals than plants, which store starch as their main carbohydrate. What is Gray's Manual? Gray's Manual of Botany, first published in 1848 by Asa Gray, 1810-1888, under the title Manual of the Botany of Northern United States, was the first accurate and modern guide to the plants of eastern North America. The publication contained keys and thorough descriptions of plants. The eighth, and centennial, Edition was largely rewritten and expanded by Merritt Linden Fernald. 1873 to 1950, and published in 1950. This edition was corrected and updated by R.C. Rollins and reprinted in 1987 by Dioscorides Press. When was Dutch elm disease first identified in North America? Dutch elm disease was first identified in 1930 in Cincinnati, Ohio. The source of the fungus was shown to be elm logs imported from Europe. By 1940 the disease had spread to nine states. By 1950 it was found in 17 states and had spread into southern Canada. Today it is found wherever elm trees grow throughout North America. What is dry rot? Dry rot is a misleading common name for this form of decay since one of the primary requirements for fungal decay is moisture. This form of decay is referred to as dry rot because it is found in wood that is not visibly moist or damp. The fungus Serpula lacrimans produces specialized mycelia that enable it to carry water and nutrients. From a location with the conditions necessary for decay to locations where these conditions are not met. Mycelia can carry water and nutrients up to 15 feet 4.5 meters, across materials such as stone and concrete. The environmental requirements for the fungus are humid air with a relative humidity greater than 95% and temperatures between 32 degrees and 82 degrees Fahrenheit, 0 degrees and 28 degrees Celsius. Serpula lacrimans is common in wooden buildings of Europe, Asia, Australia, and Japan. It is uncommon in North America, although a related fungus. Marulaporia incrassate causes similar damage that is not as extensive. Do different fungi rot different parts of trees? Most fungi that rot wood in standing trees are basidiomycetes. The group that includes mushrooms, fleshy shelves, and rigid brackets. Most wood rotters attack only one or two related species of trees. 
conifers and deciduous trees are more prone to fungi damage. Many wood rot fungi damage only specific parts of a tree. For example, Ganodermalucidum and Heterobasidian anosum specifically. Rot roots and are rarely found in higher sections of trees. Sirena unicolor and Climacodon septentrionale are common. In high sections of trees and are rarely found in the roots. Latiporus sulfurus and Fomatopsis pinicola are found in all sections of a tree except the smallest branches of their host. What cheeses are associated with fungi? The unique flavor of cheeses such as Roquefort, Camembert, and Brie is produced by members of the genus Penicillium. Roquefort is often referred to as the king of cheeses. It is one of the oldest and best known cheeses in the world. This blue cheese has been enjoyed since Roman times and was a favorite of Charlemagne. King of the Franks and Emperor of the Holy Roman Empire, 742 to 814. Roquefort is made from sheep's milk that has been exposed to the mold. Penicillium Roqueforti and aged for three months or more in the limestone caverns of Mount Comalu. Near the village of Roquefort in southwestern France. This is the only place true Roquefort can be aged. It has a creamy, rich texture and a flavor that is simultaneously pungent, piquant, and salty. It has a creamy white interior marked by blue veins, the cheese is held together with a snowy white rind. True Roquefort is authenticated by the presence of a Red sheep on the emblem present on the cheese's wrapper. Penicillium camemberti gives camembert and brie cheeses their special qualities. Napoleon is said to have christened camembert cheese with its name. Supposedly the name comes from the Norman village where a farmer's wife first served it to Napoleon. This cheese is formed of cow's milk and has a white, downy rind and a smooth, creamy interior. When perfectly ripe and served at room temperature, the cheese should ooze thickly. Although brie is made in many places, brie from the region of the same name. East of Paris is considered one of the world's finest cheeses by connoisseurs. Similar to camembert, it has a white, surface ripened rind and smooth, buttery interior. What are imperfect fungi? Imperfect fungi are also called deuteromycetes or conidial fungi. They are an assemblage of distinct fungal species that are known to reproduce only asexually. The sexual reproductive features have not been identified and are not used as the basis for classification. In this group, sexual reproduction has not been observed. Most imperfect fungi are thought to be Ascomycetes that have lost the ability to reproduce sexually. The best known members of the Deuteromycetes are the genera Penicillium and Aspergillus. Whenever a mycologist discovers a sexual stage in one of these fungi, the species is reclassified from 
the imperfect category to a particular phylum, the phylum selected depends on the type of sexual structures. What is a fruiting body? Macrofungi such as mushrooms and toadstools produce fruiting bodies. A fruiting body is a structure that enables the dispersal of spores for reproduction. It is the structure of a fungus that is visible above the ground. Fruiting bodies are found in a variety of shapes, ranging from the common cap and stem mushrooms to the more exotic. Antler-like, coral-like, cage-like, trumpet-shaped, or club-shaped mushrooms. The method of spore dispersal for the various types of macrofungi is related to the shape of the fruiting body. How are fungi related to soy sauce? Aspergillus tamari and other deuteromycetes are used to produce soy sauce by slowly fermenting boiled soybeans. Soy sauce provides foods with more than its special flavor. The soybeans and fungi give soy sauce amino acids that are vital to human life. Fungi have been used in many cultures to improve the nutrient quality of the diet. What other tree species has been adversely affected by a fungus? Elm trees are susceptible to the fungus Ophiostoma ulmi, which causes Dutch elm disease. The fungus lives in the tubular cells present in the outermost wood of trees. As the cells become plugged, water and nutrients are not able to move. From the roots to the top of a tree, and eventually the tree dies. How do bacterial and fungal spores differ? The main purpose of bacterial spores known as endospores is to protect bacterial cells so they can survive extreme, harsh conditions. Fungi reproduce both sexually and asexually through the formation of spores. Asexual spores are formed by the hyphae of one organism. The organisms that form from these spores are identical to their parents. Sexual spores result from the fusion of nuclei from two strains of the same species of fungus. Organisms from sexual spores derive characteristics from each parent. Have fungi been effective in biocontrol? Biocontrol is defined as the use of one living organism to kill or control another organism. Fungi that parasitize insects are a valuable weapon for biocontrol. The spores of a parasitic fungus are sprayed on pest insects. The fungus then attacks and controls its host. A fungus was identified as killing populations. Of silkworms in as early as 1834.
The spores of the same fungus are now used as a Mycoinsecticide a parasitic fungus used to kill insects to control Colorado potato beetles. The spores of other fungi are used to control spittle bugs. Leaf hoppers, citrus rust mites, and other insect pests. What do spores look like? Spores vary greatly in size, shape, color, and surface texture. They are generally small. On average, they are usually less than 20. And rarely exceed more than 100 micrometers approximately one-tenth the thickness of a dime. How does ergot affect humans and cattle? Eating bread and other grain products contaminated with ergot causes the disease called ST. Anthony's fire. Common during the Middle Ages, this disease which causes sensations of intense heat followed by a complete loss of sensation in an infected person's limbs. No longer occurs very frequently due to improved techniques of grain production and milling. Cattle that graze on grains infected with ergot are able to ingest enough to cause death or the spontaneous abortion of fetuses. What are the main types of asexual spores? The main types of asexual spores among the fungi are arthrospores, chlamydospores, sporangiospores, and conidia, from the Greek word konidios, meaning dust. Conidia and sporangiospores are produced from a fruiting body. Neither arthrospores nor chlamydospores involve a fruiting body. Arthrospores, from the Greek term arthro, meaning joint, are formed by fragmentation of the hyphae. Chlamydospores are formed along the margin of the hyphae. They are thick walled spores. Are all large fungi shaped like mushrooms? The fruiting bodies of fungi come in a seemingly endless array of forms and colors. Many are variations on the familiar stalk and cap pattern of the common mushrooms sold in stores. Although some have minutes for bearing pores instead of gills on the undersides of their caps. Many fungi do not resemble mushrooms at all. Puffballs are solid, fleshy spheres. Birds nest fungi form little cups containing eggs packed with spores. One kind of fungus looks like a head of cauliflower and others resemble upright, branching clumps of coral. Some protrude from tree trunks like shelves, while others look like glistening blobs of jelly. What are sclerotia?
Sclerotia are the aggregate of hyphae enclosed in thick walls that form a protective covering when conditions. Temperature and water are not conducive for growth. When conditions improve, the sclerotia germinate and produce stalks containing spore bearing bodies. Ascospores are embedded in the tips of the stalks. When transported by wind, ascospores may land on grasses or grains, especially rye. The sclerotia continue to grow after they have landed on the host plants. What are dimorphic fungi? Many fungi, particularly those that cause disease in humans, are dimorphic that is. They have two forms. In response to changes in temperature, nutrients, or other environmental factors, they can change from a yeast form to a mold form. What contributions did John and William Bartram make to botany? John Bartram, 1699-1777, was the first American-born botanist. He and his son, William Bartram, 1739-1823, traveled throughout the American colonies observing the flora and fauna of the colonies. Although John Bartram never published his observations, he was considered the authority on American plants. In 1791 his son William 160 published his notes on American plants and animals as Bartram's travels. Which woods are recommended for construction when the wood will be constantly exposed to moisture? Decay-resistant woods such as redwood and cedar or wood treated with preservatives are recommended for use in construction when the wood will be exposed to moisture. The most effective and least toxic preservative is chromated copper arsenate, CCA. Lumber treated with CCA has a characteristic light green stain. How are plants identified based on their growth patterns? Herbaceous or non-woody plants die at the end of each growing season. Woody plants add a new layer of wood each year. What are the special challenges of producing effective antifungal drugs? Since fungi are eukaryotic, their cellular structure is similar to if not the same as that of animals and humans. Drugs that affect metabolic pathways in fungi often affect corresponding pathways in host cells, which can result in the host sustaining drug toxicity. Many antifungal drugs can only be used topically. Very few drugs have been found to be selectively toxic that is, toxic to fungi and not their human hosts.
How many species of fungi are plant pathogens? More than 8,000 species of fungi cause disease in plants. Most diseases found among both cultivated and wild plants are caused by fungi. Some pathogenic fungi grow and multiply in their host plants. Others grow and multiply on dead organic matter and host plants. Fungi that are pathogenic to plants can occur below the soil surface. At the soil surface, and throughout the body of a plant. Fungi are responsible for leaf spots, blights, rusts, smuts, mildews, cankers, scabs. Fruit rots, galls, wilts, tree diebacks and declines, as well as root, stem, and seed rots. How do fungi reproduce? Fungal reproduction occurs in two different ways sexually or asexually. Asexual reproduction occurs through fission, budding, or most commonly by spore formation. Sexual reproduction occurs by means that are characteristic for each group. Two types of reproductive structures are found in fungi. Sporangia produce spores. Whereas gametangia produce gametes. In order to sexually reproduce, fungi often carry out some type of conjugation. Hyphae of two genetically different mating types come together and fuse, forming a diploid zygote. Most fungi reproduce sexually with nuclear exchange rather than gametes. <laughs>